Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll do a temperature and humidity sensor tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. So today I thought I'd go over a temperature and humidity sensor that was sent to me by IC Station. Uh, for um, an on-camera review of sorts. I've never used one before. So uh, this is my Arduino kit. Uh, within it I have all kinds of sensors and wiring and LCDs and LEDs and just about everything I need to build and prototype my uh, Arduino projects. Uh, in this kind of bin I have some of my different sensors and somewhere in here should be right there. What we got from IC Station is the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. It's a one wire interface. It came with this nice little female to female jumper cable, which is pretty cool. I usually don't see that with the low price sensors. Um, one thing that did happen, let me find. When they sent me this, they shipped it January 11th. But it didn't arrive until February 18th, and they sent me another sensor I'll do in another video, but uh, a little bit long on the shipping time, so uh, if you order from them, let me know in the comments below um, how long it took to, to get uh, a standard order shipped. I'd be interested to know, because some of their pricing is really good on on some of these items and sensors like this it's a nice little package so anyway let's uh let's look at getting this interfaced so first things first let's have a look at this sensor it's a nice little package kind of impressed with it uh looks like it's three and a half to five and a half volt supply and uh Pretty straightforward little package, nice little kind of daughter board. It's got a resistor on board, and uh, that'll uh, that's important to know because I have seen these before that you had to add the resistor externally, but it's already on board, so that's pretty cool. Let's uh, let's take this and hook it up to the Arduino Uno. So not much to it. We'll take and we hooked a VCC to the 5 volt. We hooked up a ground and we hooked our data pin to pin 2 on the Arduino Uno. Let's uh, have a look. I haven't even looked yet to see uh, how we're going to program this. Well guys, first place I went is the Adafruit website because I'm finding over and over the learn.adafruit.com has everything I need for a lot of these common sensors. So. What I found was uh, an Arduino library, an example code for the DHT sensors, and uh, we'll go ahead and fire up. Uh, I downloaded it and uh, installed it into the uh, libraries folder. And uh, what you do is go to examples, and I just did it DHT sensor and DHT tester and we'll see how this goes. Go ahead and plug in the UNO. My apologies for doing this as a, a camera on screen, but what I'll do is I'll post in the comments below the link to this, uh, this library and I'll also post this code. Uh, I'll make a forum post and uh, that way others can duplicate this. So first thing I noticed we've defined DHT pin 2 yeah I already have it hooked up to that but the code is showing the wrong style of DHT sensor because this is a universal code so we want to use the DHT 11 in this case so we'll change the commenting on those lines we'll hit verify hopefully we don't get any compiling errors done compiling no problem let's just hit upload and we'll send it to the Arduino Uno and with any luck we should be able to get some data from this thing and we'll open a serial window and lo and behold we are getting 33 percent humidity at 25 C in here in the in the basement workshop from the sensor so uh, let's try breathing on the sensor a little bit Uh, 
and we bump up to 29C and humidity goes up into the 53% range so looks like we're pulling about one sample per second I didn't even look at the code uh, on what it's set up for but I'm sure we can probably tweak it around a little bit guys it's just that easy this is the the DHT 11 temperature and humidity sensor I wish I would have had this before I uh, finished the HAB data logger the high altitude balloon project I would have incorporated this but it was about a week late coming and uh, it missed the boat so go ahead get yourself one of these uh, lots of options for these sensors out here nice little package this would make a really nice little sensor for um, uh, home monitoring for just um, a room temperature monitor and humidity and it looks like uh, looks like it's working great so I'll, uh, I'll post it down below where you can get this code and the code I used and uh, hopefully this helps someone Thanks for joining me today, guys. Good luck in all your Arduino and electronics projects. Glad you could join me today.